Medicare claiming through our integration with MediPass is now available in Clinico. But once you've started with MediPass, how do you set up everything in Clinico? And how does Medicare claiming work once you're fully up and running? In this video, I'll walk you through your Clinico account settings so you can start Medicare claiming. This will include setting up your provider numbers, API keys, payment types, billable items, patient details, and finally, cases. I'll then show you how to create a bulk claim and a patient claim directly within Clinico. If your clinic is not set up for online claiming for Medicare though, the MediPass team can also help you fill out and submit the necessary forms, making the application and setup process as seamless as possible. Just note, it can take up to five days for your clinic to be approved. But once enabled, you're ready to integrate MediPass with Clinico. For each practitioner who has a provider number, we'll first want to make sure that their provider number matches in both MediPass and Clinico. To do this, you'll need to be logged in as an administrator. Then head over to Settings, Users and Practitioners. Select a practitioner from the list, then select Edit Practitioner Settings. Under Reference Numbers, you'll want to make sure the provider number from MediPass has been added here within the list and matches exactly. Once updated, scroll to the very bottom of the page and select Update Practitioner. You'll then repeat this process for any remaining practitioners who have Medicare enabled within MediPass. Next, we'll create payment types for the MediPass integration. Payments from MediPass will be allocated in Clinico according to your preference. So to create these payment types, head to Settings, Payment Types. From here, we recommend creating a payment type for Medicare and a payment type for health funds if you haven't already. Once created, we can then proceed with integrating MediPass with Clinico. Head to Settings, Integrations to get started. We'll need your MediPass API key in order to connect Clinico with your MediPass account. This is generated directly from your MediPass account and should be created by the business owner. Otherwise, your API key won't contain all the information needed to fully connect with your account. The API key can be generated by heading to your MediPass account and selecting your account name in the top right hand corner. From here, select MediPass account, then scroll to the very bottom of the page. Within the API key section, you'll then see the option to generate API key. Copy the API key, then head back to your Clinico integration settings. You'll want to paste your API key within the MediPass API key field. If you have multiple Clinico accounts, you can apply this API key across all your accounts. Underneath the API key, you'll then select the MediPass payment allocations. Within the list for Medicare, Health Fund, and Credit Card, you should see the new payment types that were created. Make sure to select your payment allocations, then proceed to save your MediPass settings. Once connected, you should see a list of practitioners who have been enabled for claiming in MediPass including what funds they are set up for. So if new providers are added within MediPass, you'll want to make sure you head back here to refresh the list. Now that you've integrated with MediPass, the final step is to ensure your billable items are ready for Medicare claiming. Let's head to Settings Billable Items to get started. Any billable items used for Medicare claiming will need an item code. Just note, only numbers are accepted, so you'll want to remove any letters as well as any spaces that have been added to each billable item's item code. With our providers, payments, integrations, and billable items set up, we can now get started with patient claiming and bulk claiming for Medicare. When you're ready to make a Medicare claim, you'll first want to head over to the patient's details or file. Since we're creating Medicare claims, you will not need to enable health fund billing. Instead, we will edit the patient's file and focus on the Medicare fields under other information. Specifically, we'll want to enter the patient's Medicare number and Medicare reference number. You'll also want to make sure the first and last name field matches the patient's Medicare card exactly if it doesn't already. Once those details have been added, save the patient. You should now see their Medicare details appear under general information within their patient details. 
When your patient comes in with a referral, Clinico's cases feature will allow you to quickly store the referral details, which will automatically populate on any invoices generated for Medicare claiming. Cases will keep track of referral details, including the referring doctor, authorized number of treatments, issue date, expiry date, and even associated file attachments for the case. You can create a new case from within the patient's file or directly from the appointments page. Just note, cases cannot be selected when creating an invoice from scratch. You'll need to make sure the case is associated directly with the appointment for the referral details to automatically populate. When creating a new case, you'll want to start by inputting the case name and max number of appointments. From here, make sure referral is turned on to input the referral details. This includes the referring doctor, issue date, and expiration date of the referral. When adding the referring doctor, you'll want to make sure you input their first name and last name, provider number, and doctor type. Contact information is optional, but will help if you decide to send the referring doctor a letter or communication in the future. Once the referral details have been added, before creating the case, you can also select past or future appointments that are associated with the case. If a case already exists when creating the appointment, you'll see the option to select any cases that are currently open. It will even tell you if you are close to reaching the referral limit. Once you've associated a case with an appointment, you can create bulk claims and patient claims with Medicare without ever having to leave Clinico. In terms of the difference between bulk bill claiming and patient claiming, with bulk bill claiming, Medicare covers the entirety of the claim and Medicare pays you directly. So there is no gap payment from the patient. With patient claiming though, the patient will first pay the clinic in full. You'll submit the claim to Medicare and once approved, Medicare pays money back to the patient directly. So keep this in mind when creating Medicare claims. Let's start with making bulk claims. First, select the appointment, then add a payment. For this example, I've selected the billable item I created for bulk billing. Once the invoice is created, I'm immediately brought over to the payment page. From here, select bulk billing next to the Medicare logo. The bulk billing form will then appear with the practitioner details, patient details, provider details, and even referral details already filled out. Again, this is pre-populated from the case that was associated with the appointment. Make sure everything looks correct and all of your service items are added, then select Submit Claim. From here, you'll see the bulk billing claim at the bottom of the invoice, including status and a quick link to the benefit form, which you can print and provide to your patient. Once the claim for bulk billing has been approved by Medicare, Clinico will automatically add a payment to the invoice. This usually happens next day. If you'd like to make a patient claim instead of a bulk billing claim, simply input the payment source and amount provided by the patient. Once you save the payment, you'll then see a link on the invoice for the patient claim form. Similar to bulk billing, most of the details should already be completed thanks to the associated case. This includes practitioner details, patient details, and referral details. The main difference between patient claiming versus bulk claiming is you'll also see the option to select who will be claiming the benefit, the patient or someone else like a family member. Make sure everything looks correct, then select continue to payment. The invoice will then update and show that the patient claim has been submitted. Similar to bulk claiming, you can print the benefit form from here and see the status of the patient claim. While that completes this video, if you have any questions regarding Medicare claiming with MediPass or run into any issues, please reach out to the MediPass or Clinico team. Both teams are accessible via chat and of course, happy to help.